Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about Yom HaShoah, Holocaust Remembrance Day in Israel. Uh, tonight, for 24 hours, the state of Israel is going to mourn its 6 million Jews murdered by the Nazi and its collaborators, as well as remember the Jewish resistance movements during the World War II. Uh, this isn't to be confused with the Holocaust Memorial Day instituted by the UN in 2005, this is a Memorial Day that we've had in Israel since 1951. The Holocaust Memorial Day, uh, instituted by the UN, is every year January 27th, which is the day that the Red Army liberated uh, Auschwitz concentration camp. Now, the name of the day in Israel is Holocaust Yom HaShoah Vehagvura, Holocaust and Bravery Day. An emphasis was placed on bravery. Uh, this is also something you could see by the date that they, they instituted. Uh, the Memorial Day in Israel is every year on the 27th of Nisan, which is based on the date that the Warsaw Ghetto, the biggest uprising during Jewish uprising in World War II, uh, it started. It actually started a week prior, the day before Passover, but the uh, Israeli Knesset postponed it a week later. And the reason that such an emphasis was placed on bravery uh, we have to go back to the early decades of the state of Israel, the 50s, the 60s, and how they viewed the Holocaust. Now, uh, the, Israeli, um, the Israeli Jew at the time was seen as someone confident, brave, someone who works with his hands, works the land, uh, defends himself, is strong. And the Gullus Jew, the Jew living in exile, um, is weak, someone who didn't fight, didn't resist, and there was some criticism uh, against these Jews, why they went, um, uh, they didn't fight more, and why they went as sheep to slaughter. So therefore, there was a great emphasis placed on bravery. In recent decades, this thinking changed, and the Israeli public matured, and now we realize that bravery is more than just fighting the Nazis with weapons. Bravery could also mean fighting to live in extreme circumstances and trying to give your kids food and trying to, to, to save others, other lives and um, trying to fulfill your God's commandments, lighting Hanukkah candles when it's uh, in extreme conditions. These are also viewed as true bravery. Uh, do religious Jews in Israel uh, commemorate on this day? Uh, this is a little bit of a tricky question. The chief rabbinate of Israel in 1949 already instituted on the 10th of Av a memory day for the, those per who perish in the Holocaust. Now the 10th of Av in the Jewish calendar is already a day that we mourn the destruction of the temple. We fast, we say special prayers. So this was an appropriate day. And when Knesset Israel came and decided that 27th of Nisan was going to be the day, um, they they chose this over the 10th of Tevet, and they chose this also over September 1st, which was another uh, idea they had. September 1st was the day that World War II uh, broke out. So um, Nisan isn't appropriate because Nisan in the Hebrew calendar is a joyous month, a month of redemption, not one that we fast on or mourn. Uh, so therefore, um, the rabbinate didn't institute this day at any special prayers or fasting. Um, and the religious Zionists um, basically reluctantly accept this day and we stand during sirens and we have ceremonies in our schools growing up in religious Zionist schools I always had on the Yom HaShoah a ceremony and we spoke about it uh, this is different for the ultra-orthodox known as the Haredim they um, basically are indifferent to this day and the reason is they're po a major Haredi posek in the previous generation the Chazon Ish said that we do not need a special day instituted for the Holocaust and this could be for various reasons either today we don't have the halachic validity to institute a new day so it's better to add it on to existing days like 10th of Tebet or 9th of Av, which is also part of the destruction of the temple. And also maybe the Holocaust isn't something new. It's, we've had Holocaust in the past and we've had massacres in the past. Um, so 
why does this need a special a special day? And the Rebbe, the Lubavitcher Rebbe, in a different uh, circumstance, talks about the Holocaust and really says that while it might be different in magnitude, we have experienced Holocaust during the first temp temple destruction and the second one. Uh, we had Holocaust, we've had massacres, and unfortunately, but what's new about, what's different about um, the Holocaust was that it wasn't done in dark ages or previous generations, but rather in modern times where society has universities and doctors and liberal arts and authors and musicians and these very, this very society was able to do, uh, to commit such an atrocity. In a letter to 37-year-old Holocaust survivor Elie Wiesel, who at the time was still single, uh, the Rebbe wrote to him that remembering the Holocaust isn't enough. We have to actively fight the final solution. And the way to do this is you must make every effort to establish a Jewish home and a Jewish family. This will certainly bring about Hitler's true downfall, that he was not successful in his attempts at making it, that there be one less Vizhnish or Chassid in the world. Was Eli Wiesel grew up as a Vizhnish or Chassid. On the contrary, you will raise children and grandchildren who are Vizhnish or Chassidim until the end of time. This is the true remembering of the Holocaust. And Eli Wiesel did go on to get married and to have a child. And this is the true um, answer and the true way to fight against Hitler's final solution.